guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, I just got out of the shower. Um, I don't have any makeup on and my hair is not done. So I'm just going to kind of show you an easy way to get ready for a quick night out for a sporting event or any other occasion. Maybe it's dinner um, during the week or something where you don't have a lot of time to get ready and you don't want to do anything too dramatic. But everyone knows that they need to moisturize. Um, usually I use Hope in a Jar um, by Philosophy. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it last time, but this has actually surprised me um, a lot. It's very good. It's Neutrogena Naturals. So I've already actually put that on. I do that right as I get out of the shower. And then before I do any sort of makeup application, whether it's more dramatic or something that's kind of light and easy for the day, I always start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. All you do is you just take a little bit a little goes a long way and you just kind of want to spread it on your face. Um, I always uh, remember my eyelids in case we're doing dramatic eyes or light eyes. It'll just help your makeup stay on better. Okay, so now that we've got our primer and our moisturizer on, I'm going to do just a little bit of um, liquid foundation. I am kind of a drugstore girl, even though I do love my professional lines, sometimes they're not always affordable. So what I've been using lately is Alme uh, TLC. I'm just going to apply a couple of pumps, and then I'm just going to evenly distribute it on my fingers. My hands are clean. Um, if you're in a rush and you don't have your tools, it's always okay to put makeup on. If you don't have troubled skin or, or oily skin, um, it's always okay to put your makeup on with your fingers just as long as your hands are clean. You don't want to spread any bacteria on your face and um, cause breakouts or anything like that. Another great alternative is if you just have a little um, foundation brush. I actually have one and I'm going to be showing you how I just do a little bit of light contouring. So now, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products is it's Glamouflage by Hard Candy. This concealer will cover up tattoos, it covers up scars. Um, they call it a heavy duty concealer and um, I like a little bit of coverage. So what I usually do is just a little, like half the size of a pea, just a teeny little drop. So I'm just going to kind of dab the brush into my concealer and my foundation and just kind of a quick little reference is I kind of want it to just look like a check mark under your eyes. Kind of like those scary clowns when they do their makeup. They kind of look like this. And what's kind of common in a lot of people is right inside your eyes near the bridge of your nose, we tend to get a little bit dark. So you can always touch that up, do a little bit here. You want to do a little bit down your nose. I always like the tip of my nose to be a little bit lighter. All right, so I'm just going to rub it out with my fingers again, making sure that your hands are clean. This is a really funny way to start my first video with no makeup and hair on. I hope I don't scare everyone away. All right. I've been watching YouTube tutorials for years and I've got a few friends that vlog, so I figured might as well give it a shot. So today my husband and I went to Best Buy and we got ourselves a GoPro and a tripod. I'm just going to put a little leftover on my eyelids. And uh, all kinds of fun stuff for traveling and vlogging. We just wanted to get really set up so we could start doing more video. Well, when we got home, I said, I'm going to go take a shower while you set up the video. So, of course, my sweet husband said he would. And then we get, I start, I get out of the shower and he said, Mary, I don't think they gave us our tripod. So of course we called Best Buy, we gave him our receipt number and blah, blah, blah. So 
The tripod is at Best Buy, and I'm using the iMac. So, I'm sorry if this footage is crazy. We hate this iMac's kind of old, but we love it. So next, I'm just going to want to set a little bit of this with some powder. So, this is my um, powder brush. Before I got married, I bought myself a few um, nice pieces of makeup, and this is one of them. Um, I love the Chanel um, pressed powder. I'm just going to kind of get my brush in here and just kind of set what I've done. Again, I'm keeping it really light with just a little bit of contouring and a little bit of coverage. Um, this is going to keep me from getting shiny as I'm cheering on the USA. If it's hot, I hope we win. Okay. So I've got a little bit of this powder on. Being a Florida girl, I am a fan of bronzer. So um, I, again, like some of the drugstore stuff. And this is just a nice bronzer by um, the brand Milani. I've had it for a little while, um, but the shelf life on it is two years. Um, just in case you're ever curious how long your products last, I'll show you on this Chanel. Do you see right there where there's an open container in the middle? Again, it's out of focus, but that's all right. That says 18 months. So you can always get a Sharpie or um, like a little gel pen and write on the paper on the back the month that you bought it so that you know when it is expired. You don't want to use expired products on your face. So I'm just going to do a little bit of the bronzer. Next, I want to do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I've got a handy dandy cheapy little elf palette that I really like brush. This is kind of a fat angled brush that I like. Um, I'm just going to kind of load it up and just tap it on my eyelid. And that's going to kind of get the color on the eyelid. And then you can just kind of smooth it on working your way from the outside in and then a little bit from the inside out. That way you don't have a lot of excess that's getting kind of on your face. So since we're just going to go out to the little sports bar, I'm not going to get crazy with my makeup, um, but I'm going to grab kind of a smaller shadow brush and just with this top right kind of do a little bit of a shadow. So I'm just going to kind of dab kind of where my top, where the crease is. And just kind of work that in. And kind of smooth it out. So you see how like, it just gives it like some really nice natural definition on the lid. Okay. Next, I want to do my eyebrows. This is one of my favorite things. So I'm just going to kind of tap my very, very, very small angled brush into the warmer color. You kind of can blow off a little bit at the bottom. And kind of a good rule of thumb is just follow your natural brow. And I just do a little line at the top. I kind of do these one step at a time on each one. I just have always done that. I don't know why. And then at the front, you can kind of just fill in the powder. When I was younger, I kind of over plucked my eyebrows or over tweezed my eyebrows. So now I kind of have to fill them in a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. 
and this has been a tried and true product that um, I have used since about I started wearing makeup, which I guess was in high school. I typically have good luck with mascara, um, but if you tend to get clumps on your eyelashes, um, that's what these guys are for. So you'd use this side for your eyelashes and combing them. You could also use it for your brows. And then the brush side you can use for putting your eyebrows in place. And another trick to do is if you spray a little bit of hairspray on this little brush and then brush your eyebrows into place while the hairspray is still wet on the end of that, it should set it in a nice um, arch that you have controlled. So just going to do a couple more swipes. And then I'm going to do a little bit underneath. And then I take the very tip and I make sure that it doesn't have a lot of product on it. And I just touch it into those last few lashes. Okay, and since we are going to watch the World Cup, I think I'm gonna do red lips tonight. So I've got my very favorite MAC Ruby Red. I wore this on my wedding day. And then to match it, I've got my Cherry Lip Liner. So I'm gonna start with the lip liner. So you're gonna start a little away from the corner. might be a little too bright for some of you guys, but I am a fan of lipstick. Something to remember is balance. So I've got this nice, pretty, bright red lip. So I don't want to overdo it on my eyes. That's why we did the natural shadow, the light mascara, the natural brow, and the bronze cheeks. Now, if you crave a little bit more drama on your eyelids, um, but you still want to keep it toned down, a nice pencil works really well. This is just... Okay, so it looks like I've got my makeup nice and done. So now we have, I had lipstick on my teeth. It's a good thing there's a camera in front of me. 